So this is the part two of the photo retouching tutorial. Um, if you haven't watched part one, you might want to watch part one because this will continue um, directly from part two. Now, on the previous tutorial, we touched, uh, retouched her lipstick, her um, eyeshadow, and obviously her eyebrows. Um, and we were going to go over just um, hair dye today um, on this t version. Um, now, dyeing hair is pretty easy in terms of production, but it, it's really tedious work sometimes. It depends on your photo, it depends on, you know, the hair structure and all that. Um, it really depends on a lot of things. But before we get into that, we missed one thing, and that is eyeliner. So we're going to get into the eyeliner aspect, which is also a tedious aspect, and it's actually quite hard. But we're going to zoom in um, very well here and work on our eyes. So we're going to get a number 13 on, on my photo anyway. Again, it all it's all different with everybody. It kind of colored the underneath of her eyes. Now we don't have to do the other one because you can't really see it. Now again, I'm not an expert at it, but bear with me. It's just to show you an idea of possibilities. Um, again, we want to work with the color blending um, blending mode maybe for this one and uh, you know it might not really work out too well as you can see it just looks a little funky so we're going to try other ones um, for intense overlay uh, maybe overlay won't work okay there we go now again um, with photo retouching as with any Photoshop project a lot of it has to do with experimenting and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. It's just kind of, you know, going over my options, you know, what blending modes will do what, you know, what blending modes won't do what. Now, um, right now I changed the layer blending mode um, from multiply to overlay as I realized that overlay works better. Um, you know, a lot of, it depending on photos, but as you can see, uh, from close up, it kind of still looks, it doesn't really look real yet, but from far away, it looks like eyeshadow. There you have it. Now, you might want to kind of change up the opacity a little bit. Um, let's see, there you go. Now she has eyeliner. As you can tell the difference, before, after, before, after. There you go. Now, for the big task um, of working on hair dyeing. Um, it's not a big task, really. But we're going to color her hair. And to do that, we're going to get a good, fairly sized brush. Again, depends on your photo, but we're going to try to mimic this um, r real hair dye that she has on in her hair. And so what we're going to do is get a red color from on the foreground or whatever color you desired. doesn't really matter, though, because you can go back and change it. And we're just going to color her hair like that. And as you can tell, just coloring, coloring, coloring. And this, again, there's several ways of doing, um, in coloring someone's hair, but this is just one method. Now we're going to, um, we already did it, and now we're going to change the blending mode to color. Now it's a little too pink, but it's okay. We're going to change that anyway. And then we're just going to kind of clean, I'm just going to kind of clean this up really rough. Now, make no mistakes, to be honest, I really take my time, uh, in the, you know, usually with like my projects but for the tutorial sake and YouTube only supporting 10 minutes of video I'm just doing it as fast as I can now but still I'm just gonna try to do my best I can and try to clean this up um, I'm just gonna try to make this um, color it in as real as possible now we don't want to color that part of our hair so delete that and you know again I'm just doing this all by mouse um, it will be really convenient if you can use a Wacom tablet if you have a Wacom tablet but I'm just doing it by mouse because I'm just a little 
Um, you know, I'm a little lazy to use the Wacom tablet at the moment. So now we're going to go into hue and saturation a little bit and kind of change it up. Now again, before it was a little too red and uh, so, I mean too pink, so I'm going to go over just um, Okay, it's not. Okay, so maybe color overlay works better. Color or overlay, it really depends. But overlay, overlay is looking better right now. I'm gonna change the fill color again, um, just to try to blend in a little bit more. And as you can see, it looks a l it's starting to look real. It's starting to look like a part of her hair, but it's not matching the color of her tip of her. Um, hair. So we're going to go in and kind of try to change that as best as possible. And it looks like it's already starting to happen a good deal. There we go. And there you have it. Now, um, if you want to color other parts of her hair before you even adjust with the blending modes, you kind of want to um, color all of her hair first. Um, the reason that being is because you don't. We're going to adjust all of them um, together at the same time, unless you want to separate each hair dye, um, hair color, and hair dye differently, uh, in different layers. I mean, so if you if you're not doing that though, you want to work on it all at the same time. And as you can tell here, I'm just coloring her hair all over where I find it to be relevant and I'm just going to go in and fix that later anyway okay then I'm going to overlay is already uh, applied but I'm going to go in and change the fill to about 45 or maybe 50 there we go now once I've got the initial construct of how I want her hair um, wh where I want her hair to be dyed I'm just going to go in and kind of clean it up over again like that maybe I'm gonna zoom in kind of clean it up there we have it okay now what do you think pretty convincing well um, again I'm just doing it in a fast uh, speedy process the slower you work on this the better the results trust me and now we're gonna go in and kind of change the color and the saturation just so it kind of fits the tip of her hair erase some parts really getting in there and cleaning it up and again this is a lot of this has to do with how you work your brushes so that's exactly what I'm doing right now I'm trying to work my brushes there we have it now we applied hair dye, I mean hair dye to her hair, um, trying to match as best as possible on the tip of her hair here, and that's basically it. Um, we just got it going. Now um, the next step on this tutorial is we're going to try to work with the photo and kind of adjust, uh, make it more, you know, pop out a little bit. And on uh, the third part of the tutorial, I'm just going to show you exactly how to do all that. So stay tuned.